Hi everybody! Today we're going to be doing an Oracle deck review and this is the deck we're going to be working with. The Butterfly Oracle Cards for Life Changes by Doreen Virtue. This is a sturdy box. It is large enough to fit all your cards and the guidebook. That's the back. And to show you the inside, it is pink. I love the sturdy boxes because you can keep your cards in them on your shelf and you don't have to worry about them getting messed up. And this is the guidebook. It's actually quite a nice thickness in the back. And it has content page. It also has an intro. And then it talks a little bit about how to work with your cards, how to cleanse them, how to work with Oracle cards, how to do a reading. And then it has a, a few, I think it has one or two spreads that shows you how to, how to perform those spreads. And then it goes into each card. It gives you a picture of the card, the message that's on the card, and then a description of what that message means. And if that message doesn't suffice for you, then it has additional meanings down here. See if you can see that. So it has additional meanings um, on the bottom of the last page. And it's just to help you with the book. I think the book helps if you if the message on the card is not resonating with you, you can go back to the guidebook. And the meaning in the guidebook or the additional meanings is quite helpful. And I find the additional meanings to be quite helpful in guidebooks. So this is the card. This is the back of the card. It's blue with a blue butterfly. And I do not know that species of butterfly. It's a thick card. It's pretty thick. And I will show you the deck so you can see that it has the gold on the edges all the way around. And I'm going to, as always, I am going to show you every card in this deck. So if you do not want to know or see every card in this deck, then you have been warned. I'm going to go ahead and show you my favorite cards first. And I'm going to be showing you the cards and giving you an idea of what this deck looks like. I won't be able to show you the message at the bottom for every card, but you can see what the cards look like. Oops, sorry. So these are my favorites. Now, I do want to point out there are two cards that basically are the same. I don't understand why they couldn't find one more butterfly picture. But these two cards are exactly the same. They're just flipped, if you can see that. This one's Hobbies, and this one's Sobriety. So, don't know why they did that. Maybe they just ran out of a picture. Not sure, but that's the only repeat in this deck. And these are the cards. I love this deck. I'm going to get it angled for you. There you go. I love this deck because it's real pictures of butterflies. And they're out in nature. This is beautiful. I love that one. Sometimes the message is on the top, sometimes on the bottom, depending on the picture. And they just have it just they're beautiful cards. As you can tell, they do have that uh, glossiness to them. So they do have a gloss over them. But I love how they have a plethora of butterflies. And flowers and other things that the butterflies are on. Some pictures are more up close of the butterfly than others. So if you don't like, if you like looking at butterflies like this where you just see the butterfly wings and you don't want to look at a butterfly up close, just something to be forewarned about in this deck. There are quite a few cards that have the image of the butterfly insect up close. I think they're just adorable. Look at it. It's so cute. Beautiful cards. Beautiful pictures. Whoever 
I don't believe they give the artist. I mean, I, I know they do, but I, I, I don't know if there's just one artist. One person who took these pictures, one photographer. Or where they got these pictures. They're just so, so pretty. I love the ones with the roses. Isn't that pretty? But isn't that so cute? It's so cute. That is adorable. Sorry if my cat interrupts this video. He may. Just FYI. Okay, and then I'm going to show you the rest of the cards in the deck. And the only reason they're not my favorites is just because, even though they are beautiful in their own right, I just wasn't drawn to them. They are still beautiful cards, beautiful pictures, beautiful butterflies and flowers. I just wasn't drawn to them as much as I was to the others. That one is a really cool butterfly though, isn't it? I love getting nature-based decks, oracle decks, because the imagery connects you back to nature, makes you happy with all the colors and beauty. Now, even though this card um, it has the same butterfly as the first two I showed you, these actually are two butterflies. Yes, I believe they are two butterflies on the same flower branch. Otherwise, they did a really good job of putting the two pictures together. But I, I'm pretty sure that's two different butterflies on the same branch. And then they just took each butterfly individually. So the first one and the second one for those two those two cards I showed you in the beginning that might have been their intention but kind of feel like you could have just taken a picture of two extra butterflies and been good with your deck. That one's cool. It's coming up. It's chrysalis. Body changes. Perfect. And the images really do match the the message. Like this one says healthcare change and this butterfly has um, a break in its wing right there. Right, right, the little tiny tear. Right, right there, little tiny tear. This is the picture that's on the guidebook and the box. This one says religion and spirituality. It is quite beautiful. So those are the cards. And I'm going to try not to blind you guys with that shininess. And that's the deck. Again, I think it's a beautiful deck. It's great to connect back to nature. If you love butterflies, if butterflies are one of your totem animals or spirit animals, it's a great deck to work with. The images are lovely. And the quality is excellent in this deck. For the cards, the images, everything is high quality. I do recommend it. It is available on Amazon, though I do not remember the price. It wasn't that expensive, though. Probably, I would say less than $20, $25 on Amazon. Regardless, it is a beautiful deck, and I hope you enjoyed this review. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and a good night. Blessings.